Most programmers don't actually know Git commands. Git InstaWeb opens up a GUI in your browser, which helps visualize Git commits and branches when you navigate to it. Git submodules is when you have a Git repository inside of a Git repository. Git diff is a really common one, but if you need a way to see the difference between two commits, uh, two branches, or something else, then this is a really easy way to do that. Git blame is a way to see which coworker is the one that wrote a specific line of code. As the name implies, it's a way to see who to blame, unless it's yourself. You've probably seen git log already, but you can take it a step further. You can add flags like search, or author or even grep. Git switch is when you want to check out to another branch. Usually you would do git checkout, but it would actually bring your working files with you. And finally, git gc, which stands for git garbage collection. This cleans up everything from loose files and consolidates it to make git run faster. 